Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Ultra Lord Show with you forever, the Ultra Lord, your mother's favorite producer. I don't know why I've been gone for so long. I've been so busy. I keep fucking saying that on every fucking video that I've been gone, I've been busy, I've been doing things, but now I am back. I'm fully committed. I'm trying to push content out like I usually do. Shout out to the main channel that we finally hit 600 subscribers. If you guys didn't notice, for the people who've been there since day one, we I've changed the names from... Um, the previous channel which was the ultra show but i finally found a name for the second one which is now the ultra show the main channel is ultra music productions and now this channel is for the reactions and everything but i'm gonna plug all of that stuff later you best believe it right now but, 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 but uh, 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 2020 was a bad year very bad year for me but 2021 the hits are coming the hits are coming from the Sony Marvel Universe, man. I'm talking about the second trailer of Venom. Let there be carnage. I mean, I've always wanted to see carnage on the main screen, silver screen. I grew up watching Spider-Man shows and everything like that. And just the idea of like a Venom symbiote excites me. So this is something that I want to see. My boy Tom Hardy is reprising his role as Venom. Uh, we, have, um, we have Woody Harrison playing uh, Carnage as Cletus Cassidy and I feel like he might bring actually something quite interesting to the story because I saw his first, uh, uh, the first trailer and just seeing him with the whole carrot top head and everything like that was a little bit on the outrageous side. I am not gonna lie. I'm gonna watch this uh, trailer and actually gonna see and see if I can break it down and see what's gonna go on uh, on the rumors that Tom Holland gonna be part of the Spider-Man universe is gonna be part of part of Doctor Strange's new movie that's coming out or is this gonna be a standalone flick? Oh yeah, for anybody that wants to know, I'm gonna be commenting throughout the reaction video. I'm gonna be talking, I'm gonna be reacting, everything like that. So boohoo to you. Let's go. All I ever wanted in this world is carnage. Woo! Lady, we should be out there snacking on bad guys. So it looks like uh, Venom is still doing the whole anti-hero thing, you know, still fighting, you know, he, he still kind of needs to sustain himself by, from feeding on people, same, similar to what you've seen in the Ultimate Spider-Man comics and the Ultimate Spider-Man games. So he's kind of like on that feeding on people tip and they kind of got into an agreement that they're only going to be feeding on bad guys. So I can see that they're kind of going with that. Let's go. I am a predator. I need to be free. You have got to get control of your aggression. Okay. You get hauled off into Area 51. You live in my body. You live by my rules. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Please let me fix it. So I can fix it again. <laughs> you are a loser. Okay. Eddie Brock, I want to give you my story. People love serial killers. Cletus, why me? What's mine is yours. And what's yours is mine. I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. I'm guessing that bite is how he got the the carnage symbiote, maybe, or maybe it laid an egg or something like that, because I know venom laid eggs before so and that's where the other symbiotes came through but maybe that bite was maybe maybe it who knows all i ever wanted in this world is carnage I never understood this part about like movies where like the hired security always thinks they can go toe to toe with whatever fucked up thing that comes out tries to kill all of them you know what I mean they legit go in there with assault rifles and everything think they, okay let's just take this guy down and then one by one they go down if I was the last guy that actually had to survive a onslaught like that I'm putting my gun down and I'm walking out shout out to being a pussy but I'm not gonna die uh, over minimum wage. No, no thank you. No sorry. I'm not a crazy man. Why are you a vengeful one? Oh, shit! Whoa, where are you going? That is a 
red one. You need to come out right now. I will let you eat everybody. Promise. I promise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Baby, you feel like home to me. Like family. Oh, wow. You could just say, I'm happy for you. That was going to be us. I am happy for you. No! God, I'm so sorry. Not sorry! This dude needs some serious couples counsel. Wow. 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 Woody Harrison, Tom Hardy. That is actually quite an interesting trailer. Like, just watching it based alone. I think I'm going to need to take, like, a second watch and make a more in-depth video about that. But just... The dynamics and everything like that. I see they're taking more of a comedic approach between Tom Hardy and uh, Venom, which I loved about that in the first movie. That was something that um, really kind of sold it, you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, that dynamic, like I said, like one wanted to do one thing, the other one had to do the other thing. I mean, like, you even see it sprinkled around in the trailer now where now Eddie's trying to um, uh, command dominance and try to push... Uh, Venom or the symbiote to do what his rules because it's his body and everything like that But then how do you control something that is this ferocious and this intense and everything like that? But how I'm picking up the vibe is that uh, Eddie was probably doing a report on a serial killer, which is uh, Curtis Cassidy If you know him, he went on an onslaught killed his own parents and everything like that And then I think from the bite that he got that's where he gets his powers and everything like that, probably breaks out of jail, and then they noticed everything on the news that, uh, they, 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 you know, there's, there's a damn symbiote that's on the loose trying to kill everybody. He probably has his own motives, like you heard about, he's he's, he's not a, what, a happy man or whatever, but he's a very vengeful man. He's probably trying to come come off to everybody that he would done him wrong or something like that. Maybe that's his motivation for the movie. Who knows? And then um, Venom has to try and stop him because you cannot have two... Uh, badass symbiotes living in one city like that um, I'm actually curious to see when um, when the movie comes out it's coming out this fall maybe on, on outside because I'm in the, the essay that's gonna come out in spring so that'll be a nice spring movie over there to watch I'm really excited to see actually what they're gonna do and all the dynamics but that's my honest thoughts and my honest um, opinion about uh, this movie but anyway guys if you like videos like this please hit that like and subscribe button it really helps us to just to grow the channel and push everything like that uh, remind you guys that I have music on uh, I don't know which side I'm gonna put it over here but I have music that I've dropped over here that you can actually listen to the playlist and everything like that I really wanted just to separate all my channels so you can get a little bit of everything in the right way like that there's a second reminder to hit that like and subscribe button and make sure you stay frosty I check out the next one. Peace.